Melbourne has got an extremely rich history culturally, full stop, but particularly with music. Australia is one of these amazing multicultural melting pots, and Melbourne particularly. And so you have you know, people grabbing influences from all over. And I think that maybe at the moment we're starting to see something that you could maybe call a Melbourne sound, although it's a bit BT, it's a bit UK, there's a little bit of Detroit house in there, and it's hard to put your finger on it, I think, you know. Seems like there's a strong following for Detroit electronic music here. You could tell by the people, the enthusiasm, the amount of records people brought out tonight to get signed, the records that people were uh, talking about, and the records that came forth from their own collections. My record collection is sort of, you know, Detroit and the rest. It's an amazing venue that you, there's, there's nothing else like it in Australia, basically. When you're in here doing stuff, it's, it's quite something. the Red Bull Music Academy World Tour, Notions of Sonic Space 2011. I would define Sonic Space as an infinite dimensional hyperplane in which cosmic vibrations are absorbed, output absorbed, reabsorbed, re-output and shared amongst like-minded folk. I like to look at things in a um, sort of that virtual world uh, colliding with the physical world, so uh, fusing those gaps and sonic space kind of seems like this fusion between the virtual and physical. It uh, is a strong element to carry the message of the tracks or the music that's being played or performed by the artist, so I think visuals play a strong uh, role in a performance. Those visuals tonight were pretty exceptional. I was incredibly amazed and, and, and impressed with the, with the stage setup today and, and uh, the ENS guys, they know what's up for sure. I'm Tim Exile, I do music and it's completely improvised so everything that you hear tonight is going to be totally made up on the spot. For me, Sonic Space is not anything to do with like sound and acoustics um, and where sound is and how it feels in a space. It's more about how sounds connect people. Come on, man! Shout! Shout with your lens, oh man! Shout with your damn lens, you! One, two, three! From being here and just, you know, a lot of people were talking about seeing you all or bringing you all since 1992 or the first time they heard Underground Resistance. So let me know that they have a loyal fan base here. You know, Underground Resistance, what an amazing group of artists. I, I, I couldn't believe it when they were coming, to tell you the truth. I never thought that I would actually see them play. And these were guys who were so mysterious to me in the 90s when I was getting their music and buying their records. And I just thought they were the most mysterious, m magical, kind of hardcore, beautiful, soulful people in the world. I thought that they were almost unhuman. Anytime we went to Detroit, it was uh, it was important to go and uh, basically listen to Mike talk. He's really that important. He's uh, one of the true pillars of techno. Yeah, without uh, I mean, without without Detroit, without Underground Resistance, without Mike Banks, we none of us would be here. You know, that's, that's the bottom line.